Should I buy a truck using credit? And actually starting as a dump truck driver, hey man, how are you getting work? You actually get to the, drive your own truck because it was a lady that was very, very nice. This is Jay Mancini, welcome to my channel where we keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. So last week guys, I was actually with a group of friends and they were asking me, hey Jay, you know, can you tell us which way or what are the ways that we can get involved in the dump truck business? And I was actually telling these guys, you know, I've been knowing them for a very long time. And I was like, why are you guys even interested in getting in the dump truck business? And they're like, well, you know, we have seen what you're doing and we see that you've had some success and so they started picking my brain and i said wait wait wait!" i said before we get into all these details i said let me just explain to you the basic ways of how you get into the dump truck business so with that being said i told them i would make a video and here it is for my buddies guys today we're going to talk about three ways of getting in the dump truck business all right guys so if you're wondering how to get into the dump truck business and you really are not aware of the ways of getting into the dump truck business i think you will find this video helpful so the first way you can get into the dump truck business is by being a driver and driving for someone else now what does that mean that means of course you having a cdl and actually starting as a dump truck driver for someone who already owns a dump truck meaning that could be your friend it could be someone you know or it could be a company that's got several dump trucks and they're needing somebody to drive for them they're looking for cdl drivers or it could even be a general contractor or a construction company that has several dump trucks that's needing a driver now that's the first way that you can get into the dump truck business now with that being said i want to give you the upsides to being a driver okay now the upsides to being a driver are the following first thing guys is when you start off as a driver you get to actually learn the business meaning when you're a driver you get to actually see all the ins and outs of what it's required to actually be in the dump truck business you get to know the routes you get to do the functions obviously that a driver will have on a day-to-day -day operation so that sooner or later if you decide you want to buy your own truck guess what? You already have the experience that is needed for you to become a dump truck owner operator. So guys, to give you a better example, I've known several guys that started different ways. And I knew this guy that actually worked for us. Uh, he was actually a driver. So before being a dump truck driver, the guy was actually into driving trucks, but not necessarily dump trucks. So in other words, it was his first time being in a dump truck business. So he came to me and he asked me for a job and he said, look, he said, I don't know anything about the dump truck business, but I do have a CDL. I've been driving other types of trucks and the guy seemed pretty responsible. So I said, hey, you know what? I said, no problem. I said, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity. And, you, you know, I, I gave him a job and he became a dump truck driver. Now. When he became a dump truck driver, it was a big bonus for him because I'll tell you what happened, okay? So after driving for us for about two years and actually learning the business of being a dump truck driver and what it not only requires to be a driver, but obviously also learning the business in general, you know, uh, learning what it takes to actually manage and, and not only drive, but also, you know, the routes, um, the expenses that dump trucks have, and obviously also getting to meet many people throughout this course as a driver, he was also able to build other connections while he was driving our truck. So after two years, he tells me, hey Jay, I got some news that I gotta give you. And I said, okay. And I kinda already had a feeling where he was going with this, but I said, okay, what is it? He said, well, I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but he's like, I have to put in my notice. And I said, okay. I said, well, what are you gonna be doing? He said, well, that's the other thing I want to talk to you about. I said, okay, go ahead. And he says, well, I'm going to buy my own dump truck. And I looked at him and I said, are you kidding me? That's great news. I'm glad, man. I felt happy for the guy. And I said, that's what it's all about, you know, progressing. So he's like, man, I thought you were going to kind of be upset. I said, no, I said, it's all about progressing. I said, I'm all about people, you know, moving forward and doing bigger and better things. And he said, well, I wanted to talk to you because I also want to know if you'll give me work once I buy my dump truck, if you're actually going to, you know, give me work 
as an owner operator? And I said, of course, man, I'll give you work. I said, I already know you, one. Two, I know you're responsible. I said, so of course I'll give you work. So that's an upside, right? If you're, no, if you're a dump truck driver, it gives you the time and the flexibility to learn the business so that potentially later on, when you become an owner operator, you already have the experience that it takes to be a knowledgeable owner operator. Now guys, just like there's an upside, there's also a downside. And as they say, there's an upside and there's always a downside to an upside. Now, the downside to it is if you start off as a driver, of course, you're not gonna make as much money as an owner operator, meaning the following. As a driver, you're either gonna get paid a certain percentage of what the truck makes or a flat hourly rate. Now, on the other hand, if you're an owner operator, of course, you're gonna make more money, but you're also gonna have more responsibilities. And with that being said, that leads me to number two. The second way you can get into the dump truck business by being an owner operator. There's actually different ways for you to get in as an owner operator. In other words, for you to get in the business as an owner operator, you can one, straight out buy a truck. In other words, buy it cash and it's yours. You can also do what's called a lease, which means you lease the truck for a period amount of time, whether it's two years, three years, four, or even five years. Or you can also do what's called a lease to own, meaning you can lease the truck for a period amount of time and then have an option to buy the truck. Or you can also buy a truck using credit. By the way, guys, we also did a video, should I buy a truck using credit? If you haven't already seen it, go ahead and check it out, guys. So those are also three ways that you can become an owner operator. Now, with that being said, guys, let me give you the upsides to being an owner operator. So guys, one of the upsides of being an owner operator is that you actually get to drive your own truck. Yes, as simple as it sounds, that is actually an advantage. Let me explain to you why. Because the truth is, majority of the time, if you're an owner operator, you're probably gonna take care of your truck better than anyone else. At least I'm assuming so. Meaning, if you're not an owner operator, okay, and you just, let's say in this case, buy a truck and have a driver, well, I'm willing to say you'd probably take care of it better than the driver will, right? So that is actually an upside. Being an owner operator, you get to drive your own vehicle, meaning you get to take care of it. You know what you have, and you know if there's something wrong with your truck, I'm pretty sure you're gonna make sure you take care of it before it gets worse. In other words, meaning you're gonna do the proper maintenance to make sure that your dump truck is always in good condition. So that is actually an upside, right? The other upside as an owner operator, guys, you get to actually network with some of the other owner operators that are out there. As a new owner operator, guys, you're gonna probably meet some other guys that are owner operators and more than likely, they've been in the business longer than you have. Now, this is a big plus, let me explain to you guys. In the past, we've had owner operators that have been at a job site working for us that have been in the business for years and coincidentally, they may have to go and load at a certain particular location, at a plant or a pit, or they may have to dump at a particular dump site, meaning there's gonna be a lot of different truck drivers that come from different locations and that are working at different job sites, and they all just happen to be at the same place at the same time. Well, in this case, when you're an owner operator, especially if you're new, you're gonna probably run into these guys, right? And one of the advantages is that you can actually connect with these guys and say, hey, you know what? Um, I'm new to the business, man. And you may wanna pick their brain just to learn a little bit more, but more importantly, they may be able to give you some contacts that may be able to lead you to getting more work. In other words, having more sources of work. And I'll tell you something that's happened with us in the past. We've had some of our owner operators and when they're out on a dump site or on a plant, like I was saying earlier, some of these new guys have actually come to them and asked them, hey man, how are you getting work? And the guys that are working with us will say, hey, we got work through this company, it's called so-and-so and it's Jay Mancini. Yes, I've been working with these guys for X amount of years. And then next thing you know, it's like word of mouth, right? Referrals. 
we start getting calls or I'll get calls from some of these guys that I've never met and they'll say, hey Jay, I'm a new uh, owner operator. I've only been in the business for like four or five months or six months or sometimes even a year or two. And they're like, man, I ran into one of your guys named Jose. He was over there, you know, at a certain place loading material. And I just came up to him and talked to him and I asked him, man, who do you work for? And he said, we work for this company. This is a guy's name named Jay Mancini. And next thing you know, they get our phone number and I have Jose calling me and he's asking us for work. So this is a way that as a new owner operator, you can also find work, but most importantly, again, this is an upside, right? Because you're in your truck and you're actually out there also being able to network and connect with some of the other guys that have already been in the business. Another upside as an owner operator, guys, you keep your money to yourself, meaning you don't have to pay a driver, right? And of course, you get to also budget a little bit better some of the expenses that you're gonna have as an owner operator. By the way, guys, if you haven't already checked out the video, expenses of an owner operator, guys, I recommend you check the video. So you're able to manage your expenses better because you're driving the truck, meaning overall, this is the one way you're gonna make the most money. You're driving the truck, you're keeping the percentage for yourself that otherwise you would pay a driver. And of course, you're able to manage your expenses because you're the one that's driving the truck. Now guys, there is a downside to being an owner operator. Let's just say you're driving your truck and then your wife calls you and says, hey, don't forget tomorrow you have a doctor's appointment. Well, unfortunately, because you're the one driving your truck, the following day, you're not able to work. Why? Because you're the only one driving your truck. So you're having to take the day off, meaning the following, you're not able to earn any income for that day. And you might have to call whoever it is that's providing work for you and tell them, hey man, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna be able to come to work tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. And so that's one way that you're not able to go to work. There could be other things that might come up. You may get sick or, or whatever the case may be. You may have some family emergencies. And if you miss a couple days, not to mention three or four days, well, the truck's gonna be sitting there. And of course, in return, you're not gonna make any income. The third way that you can get into the dump truck business is by buying a truck, being the owner, and hiring a driver. The upside to being a owner, but not an operator, is the following. As an owner, you own the truck, it's yours. So meanwhile, guys, somebody's driving your truck, you're able to do other things. Maybe you have another business, or maybe you're even trying to learn more about the dump truck business while you have a guy driving your truck. There are other ways that you can also learn the business outside of being an owner operator or being a driver. And if you wanna know more on how you can hire a driver and learn the business without being an owner operator or being the driver, stick to the end, I have a bonus for you. Now there is a downside guys to being a truck owner and not being the owner or the owner operator guys. And I'm gonna tell you one of the many scenarios I've seen, this happened a while back. It was with a particular individual. And I remember this very clear because it was a lady that was very, very nice. And I remember the lady having a conversation with me and I kind of feel bad for her. The lady had pretty much put all of her savings into buying a dump truck not knowing the business. And of course she didn't have a CDL. She was just what I like to call a investor. So she buys a dump truck wanting to invest in the dump truck business and make money. And she hires this guy that first and foremost, she didn't know who the guy was. And she also <clears throat> didn't have any knowledge of what the guy had done in the past or any kind of history, if he was a good driver or not. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what happened. So she's telling me how she hired this guy and the whole time that the guy is driving for her, he's out there doing reckless things on her dump truck, meaning it's causing her truck to have breakdowns and it's also causing her repair issues, which means it's costing her a lot of money. But not only that, guys, at the same time, the guy wasn't communicating with her. So this guy, let's say he was running a route to um, load a particular material and go from point A to point B. 
Well, he would do that. And then next thing you know, the guy was running a route somewhere else without telling the owner, without telling the lady. So he was kind of like making money on the side. And she was so new to the business, she wasn't even aware that this was going on. These are just scenarios, guys, that kind of explain what can happen out there if you're really new to the business and you just go off and buy a dump truck and hire a driver and don't have any knowledge of the business. So you definitely want to avoid that. Now, guys, if you remember, I told you you stick to the end, I would have a bonus for you. And I wanted to tell you a little bit more about how you can get into the business by not being a driver or an owner operator, meaning you only own the truck. So I'll tell you a little bit more about how I kind of got into the business and the way I actually got into the business, guys, I never owned the truck from the get go. Okay. What I actually did was I actually quote unquote, did like a lease to own agreement with a guy who owned the truck and the guy was in a, let's just say not in a good position at that time. And he had this truck abandoned for a while. I think it was close to a year. So I made an agreement with the guy and I actually did a lease to own kind of agreement with him. And yes, we wrote it down on paper, but at the time I had just started or was trying to start the business. So I gave him a few thousand dollars as a deposit. And in return, he let me take the truck and we came to an agreement that I would eventually pay off the truck within the first year. So I technically never owned the truck until I finished paying off the truck, but I used that as leverage with very little money, right? To actually start the business. And so I didn't even have a CDL guys. Okay. What I did was the following. Okay. I actually hired this guy who I knew had been a dump truck driver for many years. Now the guy was an older gentleman. Okay. He was actually in his sixties. So I knew the guy was very responsible. And I also already had a relationship with the guy. I had actually known this guy for several years and the guy was driving dump trucks before, but then the guy decided to retire. And he decided one day that he was just bored at home and he wanted to make some extra income. So, I called him up and I said, Hey, if I buy a dump truck, will you be willing to come and help me out and actually drive my truck? And he said, yeah, Jay, sure. You know, we got a good relationship and we had a, you know, a good understanding or mutual understanding. And so that's how I actually got started in the business guys. I actually got my first truck. It was a, it was a significantly older truck to be very transparent with you, but I started with very little money. And I did what I call like a lease to own agreement with a individual on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And this gentleman, this older gentleman came and drove my truck and that's how I got started. So that's a way that you can get started. If you're new to the business, find somebody that already has experience as a dump truck driver or even better. In my case, I happen to know somebody who used to own a dump truck, but had retired. And then after a while, after he had been retired, decided that, you know what, he wanted to do something and he felt like he was, you know, wanted to go back into, you know, working, but didn't want to own a truck. So of course, as you know, I hired him as a driver and that's a way that you can get into the business guys. I tell people you don't have to own a dump truck, but you have to know what you're doing. As you probably already know, the first thing that I did was I had a guy that was driving the truck that was experienced and that knew the dump truck business. Meanwhile, he was driving my truck. Guess what I was doing guys. I was learning the business myself. I was going out there and I was networking. I was picking people's brains. I was going to different job sites. And I'll tell you more about that guys, as you probably already know, watch the other videos and you'll get to see more on how you can do this yourself. Guys, so we have something special for you. You guys have been commenting. We've been seeing the comments. And you guys have been reaching out to us and you've been asking us a lot of great questions. And I want to go live and answer some of those questions for you. So guys, help us reach a thousand subscribers by April 1st. And we're going to be going live with you, answering some of those questions that you guys have been asking. I can't wait to see you guys. Make sure you click on the link below and register to save your seat and we will see you there. And by the way, if you found this video valuable guys, make sure you like and subscribe.
See you soon.